the the best thing that could have possibly What is up, guys? Welcome on back to CK's Garage. <laughs> Gotta put a little levity in here, man. Um, today's video is viewer requested. Uh, it specifically deals with a Hyundai dealership. Shocker, we're not talking about Mopar today. In Norman, Oklahoma. Yeah, I know. Another Oklahoma dealership. Uh, uh. Let's get into it, but before we do, I got to talk about the sponsors here today, and that is Morgan and Morgan Attorneys at Law. If you're looking for a personal injury attorney, you will find no firm larger than Morgan and Morgan, handling over 20 million phone calls in 2023 alone. When they put the billboards up all over the country that says size matters, they mean it. <laughs> they actually do mean it. When you're going up against massive insurance companies, you want a law firm that can match them dollar for dollar, and uh, Morgan & Morgan can definitely do that. It's why they have insane verdicts and settlements that you see posted on a regular basis, and you can get started in eight clicks or less from one of these nifty smartphones by going to forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. Again, that is forthepeople.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I appreciate them for allowing me to do what I do. All right, guys. So not as exciting. Today, we're not talking about a Mopar dealership or a Dodge dealership. But if you saw in my comments, I've had a few different people mention this Hyundai dealership in Norman, Oklahoma. And, and, I, and it was like... Very simple. You're all next. Wait, 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 Very interesting. I got an email and then I got a couple of comments. So I go through the comments and uh, I got the Contagion Athletics shirt on, by the way. You can go check out uh, Kevin Van, Van Voris's, uh channel if you haven't already. It's a good time. If you're into like demon content, racing, go check them out. But, uh, mm. so I'm going through these comments and these emails, and I'm like, I'm starting to see these other ones, and it's not David Stanley, right? So I was like, all right, let, let's look and see what it is. And I'm like, let me look at some of these reviews. And I'm like, uh, this is insane. Like, I've seen bad reviews, but I have not seen this many bad reviews multiple times in a row. We're going to start with the Corey G., all right, he's got a picture of the car that he purchased right here. I'm going to put the review right here so you guys can read it. Had to change my review. Shocker, this doesn't surprise me at all after reading these reviews. Had to change my review because this has been a nightmare. They have had me come in and sign paperwork three times now. Each time, my payment and interest went up, and they erased my warranty. That is a negative. No, no. Now they are telling me I have to come in and sign again. Although every time I have reapplied through Tinker, Tinker has no record of anything for me. Been going on five months. All right, so the Corey G, and I know you just posted this review because you posted your original review because you were happy that you got the car five months ago. What the dealer is doing is they did a spot delivery on your vehicle. That means they did not have an approval yet for you on the car. And then they're just shopping it around banks. Now, if your credit is not perfect right now, it's almost in frigging possible to get a loan. All right. Damn, I said frigging and I didn't say fucking. Well, there you go. Um, in frigging possible to get a loan right now. Mm. But that said, you do not, I mean, unless you absolutely need this car, you could literally give this car back to the dealer at this point, and they would have to eat that shit. The miles, 
all that. Now, if you had a cash down payment or something, you might get into some arguments with the dealer about the mileage and stuff. But if you were zero down and you're signed, listen, anytime I've dealt with a dealer, and I did this in Vegas when I bought my top, my uh, Silverado first that blew up. I traded in an Audi A4 to a Finley Chevrolet in Vegas. And they crashed it. It happened. I bought a 2020 Silverado that lasted 184 or 187 miles, whatever it was, before it blew a head gasket. And it was a diesel. It was the brand new 3.0 Duramax. You've seen all the nightmares with those engines. Now you know why. Whatever. Um, they take the vehicle back. Obviously, I'm working with my own funding with USAA. So all I had to do was call USAA and was like, don't fund that shit. And USAA was like, sorry, we're not paying this loan. The dealer has to eat the Silverado, and they've already crashed my Audi. So they either have to give me fair market value for my car, or they have to give me a sweet deal on something else on their lot. And the only thing they had that I wanted at the time, they had a blacked out Tahoe, tinted. You guys have seen it. If you've been on my channel for a long time, I called it the Black Mamba. I lifted it. I put uh, MT Fire, MT2 Firestone mud tires on it. It was a monster. I love that truck. All right, um, and that was the first generation. We ended up giving that away. I ended up buying a 4x4 Z71 version of the same Tahoe like two months after I got rid of the first one. Um, anyways, so when a dealer tells you to come back in and sign, you're under zero obligation to come back in and sign any deal paperwork at all. You could literally go, kiss my ass, here's the key fob, bye, have a nice day. And they can't do anything. Next, so when you have a rotten dealership, it's through the entire dealership, right? It starts at the general manager, right? And then the general manager is such a scumbag that they hire scumbag sales staff and then usually if your sales side is on some scumbag shit, guess what? Your service department is on scumbag shit. Which brings us to this review from um, Rofels Smith. Hope I said that right. Um, How the mighty have fallen. Love the staff and general service when it was called Automax. Fast forward to recently took our car in for an air conditioning issue. Quoted $4,200 for an actuator. Are you shitting me? For a Hyundai. Wait a minute. $4,200 for a... Wait a minute. I, I, $4,200 for a Hyundai? A Hyundai. For real? Like, $4,200 for a Hyundai? Oof. All right, you guys didn't diagnose anything. You just slapped down 4K hoping we will pay it. Yes, they did. Took it to a local reputable garage where the parts and labor was 350 installed out the door works perfectly. Yay. So if you bought a car or have your car serviced when this was called Automax Honda and had a good experience and expect the same with these new ass clowns. I'm sorry, I put the word ass in between clowns because I, I just couldn't help myself. I'm very sorry to tell you, you will need to run fast and far. I think I'm going to have to agree with that assessment. And lastly, we will finish with Hi Hello. I did not have a good experience. Went in to look at a vehicle, drove it, liked it, wanted to buy. When we started talking numbers, the asking price was $2,000 plus more. Not including fees and taxes. That was what was listed on multiple websites, even the price lifted, listed on the car itself. Oof. Was told we can only get this rate if we were veterans, financing through them, or some other odd specific set of qualifications. And unfortunately, dealers do this shit all the time, and it's a scumbag, uh, it's a scumbag move. Lucky Lopez just did a video on this. OC Motivator has done videos on this. Don't get caught up with the scumbag shit from these dealers they're going to continue to do it and unfortunately it looks like the old automax now norman hyundai is in scumbag 
dealer status. If you had an issue with Norman, Oklahoma's uh, Hyundai, I would love to know. Send me an email at tksgaragedealerissues at gmail.com, and we will put their ass in the oven and turn that shit to broil. If you like today's video and you like what I do, don't hesitate. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button or follow button if you don't already. And stay tuned because I'm sure we're going to be serving these bums up here again in the future. Flawless victory.